I never get tired of this Ducati, man. It's awesome. Hopefully it doesn't rain. wondering I always keep electronics on I never turn them off no matter how long I've been wheeling I never turn off the electronics man it's just a safety net I've never been this way before so I might get lost but anyways, lots to talk about. The S1000 is in the shop. It's at the dealer right now getting fixed. Currently it's got a radiator leak. It's not bad, it's a couple drops that I see every day. Um, it's leaking from the oil pan, but long story short, the K67s have this issue and it's indicative of a failed water pump. So, not to worry, the bike's under warranty. It's got three years, 36,000 miles. So I'm not even gonna sweat it. Actually, I might need to go back because it's coming down a little bit here. One side of the city may be like nice, and the other side, like a couple hundred yards out, it's like pouring down. But the water levels are getting pretty high. Anyways, yeah, S1000 this shop. Um, I'm about to take the Ducati in for the big service uh, late September. I just crossed over 14,232 miles. I've owned this bad boy for a little bit over a year. Um, I had zero problems with this bike, absolutely flawless. Uh, so those of you wondering what Ducati is like, especially now, it's like it's like a Japanese. Uh, bike in terms of reliability. I've had more problems with the BMW like from the get-go just gotta be frank with all those issues that I've experienced on the BMW it's one of the best bikes I've ridden so far in terms of street riding it's definitely a whole different level comparing to the Ducati this Ducati is a straight animal, and it's not really meant for the streets. I mean, you can definitely daily it, but it's not gonna be as good as the BMW. Anyways, yeah, it's been a minute since I made a video. I've just been so busy. So, a couple of updates on the Ducati. Again, I was saying that I've crossed over to the 14,200 mile range and I'll be taking it in to the dealer to get the Desmo service performed end of September. So pretty excited for that. Every pretty much 15,000 miles you gotta do a Desmo. So I'm approaching that. I'm an anomaly. I ride a ton. I've been riding like at least 100 miles a day on both my bikes combined so don't let that deter you it's definitely a long ways out 15,000 miles uh, you're not gonna get there and like I've been riding so much I, I didn't even get it until over a year so I just had the front tire changed out right now I'm rocking the Dunlop Road Sport 2's on the front and rear on the back tire, I've got over 9,000 miles on the Dunlop Road Sport 2. It's the one of the best tires I've had in terms of cost to performance. It's only 150 bucks for a 200 wide. And that's pretty awesome. Again, I've got over 9,000 miles on the rear 
and I've got roughly 35-40% life remaining. It's got a hard compound on the center and I do a lot of just straight line for it. Is There's not much twisties as you can tell. If you want a crazy bike, this is it. It's reliable, it's stupid fast, like the top end is insanely fast. Uh, I gotta hook a left. Yeah, like I was saying, this bike is crazy. Top end, over 200 miles an hour and it, it'll get there very easily. The S1000, it accelerates so fast and it's super smooth. Um, but the top end is not as, it's not as high as this Panigale. I just feel like this Panigale has insane amount of engine power uh, towards the top end comparing to the BMW. See, look, as I was saying, it was raining earlier now, it's like pretty nice. I'm only here for a year and then I'll be moving elsewhere. Hopefully back to Oklahoma, I miss my buddies. It was a big biker scene over there. They had stretched bikes and they were fast, man. I've got a buddy of mine, he's got a ZX-10 and he's getting motor work done. And he was saying how his bike will be north of 250 to the wheel. So, pretty gnarly. Anyways, hope everyone's doing great. That's the updates I wanted to share with you guys. Just to recap, again, BMW's in the shop right now. I probably won't get it for like, I'm expecting a month because it's peak of riding season. Um, but I'm in no rush. I've got this bad boy here. It's awesome. I haven't ridden this thing in a minute. So, I'm excited to be back on the Panigale. Anyways guys, that's all for today's video. I'll be sure to upload more whenever I have time. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out and always ride safe.